Right you guys, got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be taking a look at how we can schedule an automatic backup inside Windows 10, but you can use this in other versions of Windows. I think a few people requested this video, so here we go. We're going to be using a piece of software uh, from IOMI, and we're going to run this. It's called Backupper, and you've seen me use this uh, software before, but some of you wanted to see some more content on here, so we're going to go ahead and do that. So you can see here we've got plenty of other stuff to look at here. So we're going to come down to the backup tab here and we're going to go to where it says file backup for this one. Now you can do other backups and you can set schedules for those if you want to. But I'm just going to do it on the file backup uh, because it's going to be a lot smaller and a lot easier to uh, do in this video. So let's click on the file backup here. Now we've got the uh, step one, uh, you can name the backup here. So I'm gonna just call this uh, USB pen, and uh, you can call yours whatever you like. Step one, we need to select a file or a folder, and I'm gonna select a folder here, and we're gonna browse our folder, and we wanna include subfolders on this one. Now, obviously the filter settings you won't be able to use, because you haven't got the premium version or pro version. If you do want to get that, you can do, and it gives you options to do other stuff, but you have to pay for that. So we're just going to skip that part out. We're going to go to Browse here. Now I've selected the uh, folder that I want to uh, use here, which is my USB toolkit. And uh, what I want to do here is click OK. And you can see now we've got this step one process done. Now we need to go on to step two, which is choose our destination. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Now remember, there's this little drop down tab here where you can save this uh, as a schedule to uh, a NAS drive. If you want to see that, I can show you that in another video. But we're going to click on this here, and this is our uh, step two. So I've selected uh, the daily backup uh, folder here, uh, which I want to use uh, for mine. You can see it's going into this folder. So now what we need to do here, you've got some backup options here. You can go through, enable encryption for backups, enable email notification and compression if you want to do that. I'm just leaving this on normal and you can see some other bits and pieces here. We're not too interested about that in this video, uh, but what we are interested in is the schedule. So what we want to do here is look at the general tab here first and you can choose daily, weekly, monthly event triggers and real-time sync now depending on what one you want to do i'm going to do daily here but if you want to see real-time sync let me know and i'll do a video on that but basically daily is the one we're going to be doing in this video now you've got another option here run once and this will be at a certain time and you can run it just once only so that means it's not going to run on a daily basis it will just run on this time i'm going to run it once uh, every day and we're going to make this uh, 1431 and we're going to also click advanced and we can see here we can now choose the way we want to perform our scheduled backup full backup which means it'll just do a full backup every single time uh, but you will require a, quite a bit of space on your hard drive because this will take up a lot of space incremental backup is set by default and we have differential backup as well so let's go ahead i'm going to leave this on incremental backup and uh, you can see here, install a service to run a scheduled task. It will automatically do this for you. Uh, run this backups at the next system startup. So if you forgot, uh, to, if you shut the system down, it will automatically uh, run that uh, backup. So let's go ahead and click OK here. And now we're ready to go. We can't do the scheme because you need the pro version for that. So I'm going to leave that one out. And all we need to do here is click on start backup. You can see how to schedule to the start. Uh, back up now so I'm going to do that okay so as you can see the USB pen uh, task is now being created the backup is going across and you can see here we can check backup integrity on completion I would advise you to do that that makes sure that everything is okay and there's nothing wrong with the backup this makes sure that you get a really good backup here and uh, in case you need to um, use it again and, re and recover from that backup you can see here on completion shut the PC down if you want to do that as well and there's a little drop down tab here restart PC hibernate and sleep depending on what you want to do and that's basically it it's going to back up that all the way to our 
location you can see it's uh, scanning the files and, and copying them across in a second so we'll come back when this is complete so as you can see that's now starting to copy across to the location that we set it up to do and we can take a look at that here it's still going across and we've got the daily backup and everything is going inside this location here so that shouldn't take too long And this will run every single day that we set that time to run. And there we go. The operation is complete and it will now start to uh, finalize that all off for us. Now, again, I can't stress enough to check your backup integrity on completion. It's the best way to do it. Anyway, that's pretty much it. That's how you can uh, set up a scheduled backup for Windows 7, 8, 8.1, 10, whatever version of Windows you want using uh, IOMI's uh, backup. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, you can go to my main YouTube channel here, click on the red subscribe button, and also what's really important is hit that bell notification button, and this will notify you when I upload new videos.